Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang addition of fractions. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Addition of fractions. Basically, meron tayong dalawang cases na i-consider sa addition of fractions. Ang unang case ay ang pag-aad ng similar fractions at ang pangalawang case naman ay ang pag-aad ng dissimilar fractions. So mag-start tayo sa addition of similar fractions. So when we say similar fractions, ito ang fractions kung saan ang denominator nila ay magkapareho. At addition of similar fractions ang pinakamadaling case na ma-encounter natin sa pag-aad ng fractions. Dahil meron lamang tayong rule na when we are adding similar fractions, ang magiging sagot ay isang fraction kung saan ang numerator nito ay ang sum ng numerators ng individual fractions at ang denominator naman ay gagayahin lang natin kung ano ang common denominator ng mga fractions. For example, 3 eighths plus 1 eighth. So this is example of adding similar fractions dahil pareho silang 8 ang denominator. So, we will apply the rule that I said that to add these two similar fractions, for the numerator, ay i-add lang natin yung kanilang individual numerators na 3 at 1. At sa denominator naman, ay gagayahin lang natin yung kanilang denominator na 8. Therefore, we have 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 over 8. Or, kung i reduce natin sa lowest term, meron pa silang greatest common factor na 2. So, divide natin both numerator and denominator by 2. We have 1 half. Likewise, kung mag add tayo ng 2 or more fractions that are similar, ito rin ang rules na gagamitin natin. For example, 2 ninths plus 4 ninths plus 5 ninths. So again, similar fractions yung tatlong fractions na to dahil paraw silang may denominator na 9. To add them, simply add the numerators. So we have 2 plus 4 plus 5 over the same denominator which is 9. And therefore, we have the answer of 2 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 11 over 9. And since 11 over 9 is an improper fraction, we can reduce it to mixed number. So we have 11 divided by 9 is equal to 1 remainder 2. Therefore, 11 over 9 is equal also to 1 and 2 over 9. So, ganyan kadali ang pag-a-add ng similar fractions. I-add lang natin yung numerators nila over the same denominator. Now, let's proceed to the second case when we are adding fractions. That is, when the fractions are dissimilar. So, when we are adding the similar fractions, hindi natin pwedeng i-add directly yung fractions. Kasi magkaiba pa sila ng denominator. So, ang unang step na gagawin natin ay i-convert sila sa similar fractions. At para magawa yun, ay hahanapin natin yung kanilang LCD or LCM ng denominators. At i-convert natin yung given fractions to be added sa equivalent fractions such that they have the same denominator which is the found LCD. For example, 1 half plus 1 third. So again, mapapansin nyo, dissimilar fractions yung dalawang fraction na i-add natin dahil magkaiba sila ng denominator which are 2 and 3. So, gaya ng sinabi ko, ang unang step ay hahanapin muna natin yung LCD ng fractions or simply yung LCM noong denominators na 2 at 3. So, using our listing method, we list the multiples of 2 and 3. 
So the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. For the multiples of 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. So kung mapapansin nyo, nagkaroon tayo ng dalawang common multiples ng 2 at 3, which are 6 and 12. Actually, pwede pa silang magkaroon ng common multiples other than 6 and 12 kung i-continue natin yung paglilist ng multiples nila. Pero, sa case na to, dahil hinahanap natin yung least common multiple, ang pipiliin natin ay yung unang multiple na nagkapareho sila o yung pinakamababang multiple na nagkapareho sila, which is 6. So, therefore, our LCD for 1 half and 1 third is 6. So, i-convert natin itong 1 half at 1 third into their equivalent fraction such that the denominator is 6. So, para gawin yon, for 1 half, i-divide natin yung LCD na 6 sa denominator na 2. So, 6 divided by 2 is... 3. And we will multiply the answer of 3 naman doon sa numerator ng 1 half. So we will have 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Therefore, ang susulat natin numerator sa equivalent fraction ng 1 half with 6 as the denominator is 3. For 1 third, ganun din yung gagawin natin. Di-divide natin yung LCD na 6 sa denominator na 3. So we have 6 divided by 3 is 2. At i-multiply natin yung sagot na 2 sa numerator ng 1 third na 1. So we have 2 times 1 is 2. So therefore, ang bagong equivalent fraction ng 1 third with 6 as the denominator ay 2 over 6. So therefore, na-transform na natin yung 1 half at 1 third into their equivalent fractions na 3 6 at 2 6. At dahil similar fractions na sila, pwede na natin i-apply yung rules ng addition of similar fractions. That is, we will simply add the numerators. So we have 3 plus 2 over the same denominator na 6. So we have the final answer of 5 over 6. Likewise, kung mag add din tayo ng 2 or more dissimilar fractions, the same steps will be done sa pag add sa kanila. For example, 1 half plus 2 thirds plus 3 fourths. So again, hanapin muna natin yung LCD ng 1 half, 2 thirds, and 3 fourths. Or hanapin natin yung LCM ng 2, 3, at 4. So using listing method ulit, we will find the multiples of 2, 3, and 4. So for 2, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. For 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, etc. For 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, etc. At dahil may nagkapareho na sila na multiple, which is 12, yun yung kanilang LCM. Therefore, the LCD of 1 half, 2 thirds, and 3 fourths is 12. So, i-convert na natin itong tatlong fraction na to sa equivalent fractions nila having the denominator of their LCD which is 12. So, again, we will apply what we did on the first example. So, for 1 half, we have 
12 divided by 2 is 6 times 1 is 6. For 2 thirds, we have 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 2 is 8. For 3 fourths, we have 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 3 is 9. Therefore, na convert na natin yung 1 half, 2 thirds, and 3 fourths into their equivalent fractions with denominator of 12 as 6 over 12, 8 over 12, and 9 over 12. At since similar fractions na sila, pwede na natin i-apply yung rules ng addition of similar fractions. That is, i-add lang natin yung kanilang numerators na 6, 8, at 9, at gagayahin natin yung kanilang denominator na 12. Therefore, our final answer is 23 over 12. Since it is improper fraction, convert natin sa mixed number. 23 divided by 12 is 1, remainder 11. Therefore, 23 over 12 is equal to 1 and 11 over 12. So that is how to add fractions when we are dealing with similar and dissimilar fractions. So for similar fractions, we will simply add their numerators and copy the same denominator. And for adding dissimilar fractions, we will transform first the fractions into similar fractions. That is, by finding the LCD first of the fractions and transform them into their equivalent fractions with the denominator as the found LCD. And since after doing that, they are already similar fractions, pwede ka nang mag-proceed sa addition of similar fractions ulit. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.